I'm quite active across the whole business, so we're across the different silos. We have product development, marketing, finance, sales and uh, operations, so I'm quite active across all those channels. Uh, during the week I might be giving an interview to the media, whether that's TV, radio or the newspaper. We have several meetings throughout the week. Mondays is normally meeting day and uh, a classic meeting I always like to run at the first Monday of the month is what we call our frog meeting where my entire management team sit down and tell me the five most important things they need to achieve this month. I guess if I'd invented a time machine rather than a ride on suitcase and could go back in time and redo it all again, what would I change? I wouldn't change anything. I think you learn from your mistakes. Uh, and if I hadn't made mistakes earlier on, then I may have made much bigger ones in the future. So um, I actually am a big advocate of not changing anything. I think uh, as a successful brand and as many successful product companies, um, you obviously, the downside of that is getting copied. So we're dealing with quite a lot of copycats and counterfeits out in the market, but we're very proactive against protecting our intellectual property. When I reshored manufacturing back to the UK in 2012, the LEPs hadn't been set up, so there was no funding or grants available. What we have worked with is uh, MASS, the Manufacturing Advisory Board, to help us with our production efficiencies and a couple of training grants. However, there's a few more um, opportunities now for funding support in the market from TSB, Technology Strategy Board. And we're looking at changing the manufacturing process we have in our facility to really have some cutting edge printing technologies. So we're looking at some grant funding to help enable that. So my advice to any other manufacturers looking to reshore, um, I guess, would be around, it's not a case of taking a product that um, you're making out in the Far East and thinking you can make it cost effectively in the UK. You have to re-engineer the product to some extent, take the labour cost out. So with our product, a great example being the Chinese trunky has 25 metal parts in, mainly screws, pins and things, and the UK one has none. It's all just clever engineering snap fits together. The, the, the line in China has 30 people, the line in the UK has six and we can make just as many products so um, you have to invest in re-engineering your product I think to uh, make it cost effective for thinking about what governmental support could be could be given to encourage more reshoring uh, for people who aren't familiar with the UK manufacturing base I think it would be really useful to have a, a very clear database for searching who your manufacturing partners could be um, also, it is a huge investment for, um, for, for, for some for companies to reshore, both in time and money and resource. So any support that can, can help that, whether it be grant funding, uh, will be another area I'd, I'd advocate.